All right, so if you are a fan of Google Sheets and you are a fan of Gantt charts, you are about to be super excited with the new addition of timeline functionality to Google Sheets. So this has only come out just recently in the last few weeks and it went live on our system and I threw something together just to show you what it can do. So I've got a Google Sheet here and I've got a couple of just standard information um, columns, right? I've got a title, I've got an action officer who's responsible for that. I've got a start date and an end date. So this would be a start date and end date for kind of like a duration of a project. Um, and then I've got a status, which is just a drop down menu, in progress, hold, completed, not yet started. And then I've got kind of detailed information or notes. So using that, you can go up to insert and be able to select timeline, which I've already done here. And if I flip over to timeline, it has taken all of that information that was in sheet one and it's aligned it on kind of a Gantt chart. You can see where the start date and end dates are, you know, one day or multi-day. Um, if I select these, it uses the information that was from that sheet. So the category, the card title, the action officer, start date, end date, status, and the card detail. And then I also even have uh, resources like a, an actual link to a document or something like that. Um, and here it allows you to assign a color, but instead I use the status column uh, back on sheet one in the drop down uh, to be able to green, uh, just use the, the conditional formatting to be able to assign colors based upon the status. And that reflects in that timeline. So it's a pretty nifty first step towards kind of fuller project management uh, directly within every Google Sheet that you have. So uh, playing around with it, it looks like there are a couple of elements that are needed to make it happen. You need start date, end date, title, you need details, um, and the rest of it you can kind of assign. But as long as you have that, when you click timeline and it walks you through a wizard, you'll actually pick what the title is, where the uh, dates should be assigned from, and if you have color codes assigned, uh, you can pick the column that that's done by. So play around with it. Uh, very cool stuff. All right. Hope that helps.